Hi guys, welcome back to our tour. We're now here with the Cardiovascular Perfusion Program, so I'm gonna hand things over to our faculty member to tell you about it. Hi everybody, welcome to the uh, Perfusion Lab. So this is where we bring students in to uh, get their hands dirty, so to speak. They start to learn how to put the equipment together, how to learn how the heart-lung machine works, which we have one set up right here. Uh, and then in second semester, we move on to applying the heart-lung machine to different patient situations and different emergency situations. That's sort of how we progress through the lab. And so uh, I guess I could start off by maybe showing you how the heart-lung machine works. This is a piece of equipment that uh, I'd say about 90% of what the time we spend in the hospital is working with the heart-lung machine itself. So the students have to be proficient in its use. And really there's nobody else in the hospital that can operate this machine um, with safety, uh, with the adequate amount of safety. So the machine is used to support the patient during open heart surgery. So while the surgeon is, uh, is repairing either a valve in the heart or perhaps doing some uh, cardiac bypasses uh, or working on the aorta, the heart is usually open and exposed and is usually stopped. So part of our job is to actually stop the heart. So the heart-lung machine does that by delivering uh, a drug that will stop the heart from beating. And while the heart is stopped, of course, we have to maintain circulation. So that's what the rest of the machine is responsible for. So the pump, the big pump that you see going around here is in effect the patient's heart. So what we do is we will uh, connect our tubes up to a cannula that sits in the right atrium of the heart. And that collects the patient's blood that normally goes through the heart, comes back to the pump. And then from the pump, we pump it down into an artificial lung because we're also bypassing the lung. So the function of the lung is to oxygenate the blood and to maintain the proper amount of carbon dioxide in the blood. We can also give anesthetic vapors through what we call the oxygenator as well. So we can maintain anesthesia during the surgery. From the, oh, the other function of the oxygenator is to regulate the patient's temperature. So we can, uh, uh, through this device down here, we can actually change the temperature of the blood, which then changes the temperature of the patient. From the oxygenator, the blood is pumped back up a tube that's connected to a cannula that sits in the patient's aorta. So we pump blood back into the aorta, and that's what maintains the patient's blood pressure while the heart is stopped and being repaired. So that's the essentials, the bare bones, if you will, the primary reason uh, that the heart-lung machine exists. Other duties may include um, taking blood samples, so we have to monitor the patient's pH balance. Uh, we have to monitor their anticoagulation status. So when blood hits plastic, and all these tubes are plastic, it wants to coagulate. So coagulated blood doesn't flow very well. In fact, it doesn't flow at all, and that's something we want to avoid at all costs. So we have to give anticoagulants while on pump and monitor the anticoagulation status of our patient. So that's a big part of our job. Um, other things the heart-lung machine does, if we have to give blood, we will give it through the machine because sometimes we dilute the patient's blood. Um, and uh, if there's any spilt blood in the chest or spilt blood that is actually in the heart chambers themselves, we have to collect that and bring it back to the machine. So that's, that's our prime duties while we operate the heart-lung machine. We actually have a student from the program here with us. This is Vanessa, who is a first-year student. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so maybe you can just tell us a bit about why you chose to go into this program. Sure. So I had done my Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology at McMaster, and I actually started research in my fourth year, and it was focused in cardiovascular physiology, and I ended up doing my Master's just because I enjoyed it so much, and I happened across the perfusion program at Michener, and I realized it was just a perfect fit because it was in my area of interest. It allowed me to work in a, a very fast-paced OR environment, which is something I was always interested in. I never really had a lot of clinical experience, so that's why it really um, drew me in. And I'm very fortunate to have been uh, accepted into the program. Cool. And uh, maybe you can tell us just one thing that you found interesting or surprising um, since entering this program, either about the field or Michener or just working in healthcare in general. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about Michener and the program. So one of the things I've actually enjoyed the most is we actually have a mix of uh, students with a clinical background and then a mix of students with more of an academic background. And it leads for a very cooperative environment that helps us, really helps both sides because someone with no clinical experience, I get to kind of learn from the RNs and the RTs and then kind of vice versa. So it really lends to a very helpful and productive work environment. 
think that concludes our tour with cardiovascular perfusion. Stay tuned for our last video next.